Swag all the honey, the dapper on the budget, flicks until the sunset. Honey got me buzzing, with or without a condom. I'm the one you should fuck with, baby. Shake it, shake it, make it, shake it. Looking like a million. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. what's good, broskies? It's your boy Ronnie, and welcome to another episode of Ah Mazar Reactions, where we go the greatest and coolest shows and give our own little reactions to it. Now, before we begin, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, don't forget the bell sign, you can get notified. When we release that fire, so we're back with another episode of Seven Deadly Sins. And look, when I see the first episode, I'm realizing just how much the trailer for this took from it. I feel like if you watch the trailer and you watch this episode, you realize that majority of the trailer is literally the first episode, and it actually did nothing to tell me what is gonna happen in this season, man. But it is what it is it is what it is one thing i'm also curious is where chandler and kuzak were because merlin did say hey in the last holy war they really didn't do much and these people are mysterious beings but even with all that mystery they still got wrecked a fucking archangel yo that guy's powerful now, man he's absolutely powerful so i don't know how you're gonna win because he looked very overwhelming yeah, the most important thing right now is how Ban and Meliodas are actually going to get out of purgatory. I don't know, maybe I missed it when they were sending Ban into purgatory. But, I don't know man. I'll have to rewatch it and make sure. But, there's no time right now. We need to watch this episode. So let's rock. But it's pretty too like the land of dead though. <laughs> oh yeah, time moves differently here, right? You look like hope. Yes, why does he just settle for Zedrus? Zeldrus. Mm. Wait, are you gonna see them fight the demon lord? You drunk! Yeah, he's probably gonna be really, really strong, eh? I feel like they're gonna use that thing that looks like Hulk to go back to Purgatory. I mean, to go back home. Come on. This is Hulk. Okay. It talks. Exactly. You see, I knew it. Hawk is from the demon realm, though. This is Hawk's big brother. Oh, I thought the demon king was here. Oh, he's putting work though. 
ブリタニアで目覚めたのが16年前向こうの1分が煉獄の1年だとして大体計算はあってやりっぱりたくましく成長したのだろう So wait, is that giant pig really his mother? ハハハハハそれで、ジャスケットをブーッと入れて、全てを見つけた。Okay, relax. Yo, look at that house. He worked, hey. Oh man, it's finally, finally confirmed that Hulk is from purgatory. I've had this hunch, I've had this feeling since I saw Wild in the last season. But, like, yo, man, now it'll make sense why there's a talking pig in the fucking real world. I didn't, but like, purgatory in itself. So, basically, purgatory is hell. I thought it was like just another dimension, but literally starting to look like if you die, you go to purgatory. Fucking hell, man. I didn't realize it was just that deep. But now the issue is getting out of purgatory. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that when I saw Mild, right, I immediately assumed that, okay, cool, since Hawk is connected to purgatory and was the key to getting Bun in there, I assumed they just use Wild. To go back home, but it looks like probably like the demon king fiddled with Hulk in order to make him like a gateway to purgatory and the world of the living. So, yeah, but like, so, so it's looking like we're gonna see a Ban Wild Meliodas versus Demon King match. Like, that's yo, <laughs> you see how excited I am. It's gonna be so beautiful, man. It's gonna be beautiful. And it's looking like Bun is g o t t e n stronger, so I'm hyped. I'm just hyped to see what he does when he gets back into the world of the living, man. It's gonna be wild and dope. But then the question then becomes who exactly is Hulk's mother? Like, is she also from Purgatory? Is she also part of the Demon King's plan? Like, now there's a genuine question like, who is she? And like, has she known all this time? Like, I wanna know what's the story there. Yeah, man, the friendship between Ban and Meliodas is just beautiful to witness. Beautiful to witness, man. 500 years is not child's play. Like, what Ban has gone through just for his friend. Wow.、Oh, what a good chap. What a good chap. And lastly, z e l d r u s is actually OP. Like, I think it's because the way Meliodas treated him when he came into the throne room, like, him and e s t e r o s a were basically just like put to the ground. Like, Meliodas fucked shit up. So it made me think that, oh, okay, great, I've seen him do amazing shit before, like, with the draw fight, but in general, he seems to be okay. And considering that he gave away his commandment, I thought that、mm, 
weaker, weaker, weaker. But attacks don't affect him, and he definitely has unreal magic abilities. You can see that he is the Demon King. Son. Bloody hell! Considering how capable Zeldris is, it makes me wonder why, just why, the Demon King is so set on making Meliodas his successor. Like he betrayed you. Like you could have just let it be, let him suffer, and that's that. But you're doing all this work to get back your son. He betrayed you. Okay, maybe in the end, he he's a father, man. He is a father, and he wants his son by his side. Zeldris is looking more than capable of being the Demon King. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But yeah, great episode, great episode. Tell me how you feel though. Did you like it? Did you not? Just hit up the comment section and let's have a conversation. But other than that, thank you so much. If you made it this far, like and subscribe. Enjoying the Amar is an army. Thank you again. See you in the next one. Peace.